Welcome back, everybody. It is still April 30th, 2018, 1.40 p.m. As you can see on the screen, we are 31 days, 10 hours, 19 minutes, and 50 seconds away from the 2018 hurricane season. But as we say here on this channel all the time, that does not mean that is actually when it's going to start. And the reason I say that is because we've been following a tropical wave that has come off the west coast of Africa, and it has made its way uh, through this warm water, uh, warm water belt, we like to call it. It's also the monsoon belt that runs through the entire continent of Africa and then moves west to east all the way into the Leeward Islands, basically cutting underneath uh, Dominican Republic and Cuba and then out into the Pacific Ocean. And that is where our hurricanes usually catch a ride, basically, from the Leeward Islands. Once they, the wave comes off of the west coast of Africa, it then follows that warm water belt into the area of the US so what you are looking at here is that tropical wave come uh, Cinco de Mayo which is May 5th now we can see here we have 61 62 mile an hour winds and if you look at the uh, Sapphire Simpson scale which I have pulled up for you here uh, tropical storms are anywhere within the range of 34 to 64 miles per hour so this is well within that range possibly could become our first hurricane of this season if it becomes a tropical storm it will be named um, that name will be of course Alberto is letter A for this year for the Atlantic hurricane season we have gone over these names but I want to show you why this is happening now you're looking at Africa here now there's two areas of Africa where we have weather that come off and then into the Atlantic Ocean you can see one belt up in this direction here and then you see this belt closer to the middle part of the country now this is the area we want to keep an eye out for uh, for a few reasons one because a lot of moisture systems come off of the west side of Africa then move west to east basically the opposite of how our weather moves in the US and then makes its way into the Atlantic Ocean like we just explained but there's also sandstorms that go on um, in Africa that actually there's theories that talk about how sand is actually part of how hurricanes form and the reason for that is there's actual particles uh, within tropical storms or storms themselves that then attach to each other um, there was a a news briefing I forget how long ago it was it may have been two three years ago now where that doctor Michio Kaku or whatever his name is even, even though he could be just a complete liar who knows what that guy's all about but he was talking about how they're using particles to enhance storms so um, when you take sand into an account there's a lot of scientists out there that talk about how sandstorms aid in the creation or basically help further along tropical storms or tropical depressions then tropical storms and then they become hurricanes once they're in this open water so a lot of the formation of our storms happen over the continent of Africa before they even make it to the water and then we watch as they come down through the Leeward Islands which is right here and then you can see the sand this is actually um, a Spectrum News 9 website where they show the actual actual sand content coming off of Africa and you can see how it's being pulled down this way and it moves towards the US so this could very well be playing a part in why we have our first tropical wave uh, basically as we move into the month of May starting tomorrow now let's look at a couple other things here's Ventu sky once again just to give you an idea of the way the winds are moving you can see the winds coming down this way they dip down real far sometimes and then they want to come up this way so let's check this out on tropical tidbits we have the sand in place which could be leading to this tropical wave um, we do have moisture systems currently moving west to east on Africa and then out into the Atlantic Ocean so that is all in place and then we also have something pretty interesting here I want you to check out there's a pulse that comes off um, it looks like it happens right around here it's the beginning of the frame right there and it cuts all the way across the Atlantic Ocean down to about the mid area of Africa and right after that we see a moisture system pulling through the Leeward Islands that goes to current time and then by May 5th this thing is up in this area here so we're gonna follow this on tropical tidbits I'm gonna show you really quick how this thing is expected to form now this is the beginning of May 5th so we still have three or four days to go this may change course a little bit but again those wind speeds are in tropical storm uh, territory well within it we're almost at uh, category one speeds when you hit that 75 mile an hour marker so here we are this is the beginning of May 5th I want you to watch down in this area here where you can already see that circle as we move through the day May 5th this storm begins to tighten up we see a lot of rings there and those are telltale signs of 
um, a congested set of thunderstorms. Uh, thunderstorms need to connect together, then we get a tropical depression, then that becomes a tropical storm, and then we get Category 1 hurricanes. So where there's no telling exactly what this is going to be, but it is showing up on all the charts. It's showing up on the CMC, the GFS, and the European model. The European model actually has this thing coming under the Bahamas and going under South Florida. Again, this is not a said hurricane yet, but the charts are showing that this is clearly uh, taking on uh, the form of a tropical storm. You can see how it holds its shape and it becomes a, a single entity basically. When these rings uh, actually de uh, attach to each other, you can see there's a central area of low pressure there. And as we move forward through May 5th into May 6th, you see this dip down uh, just to the west of the Bahamas, which is pretty interesting. So it sits here for a bit and then it gets carried up and that's because we have a high pressure moving down from Canada over the US which is also aiding in the heat wave we're gonna have over the next three days in uh, the Northeast as well as most of the country as you can see these temperatures um, over the next couple of days average 75 in the Northeast so we have a big warm-up coming so we need to keep an eye on that too but as I said part of the reason why this storm is allowed to exist and even move as far as it's been moving is because of all the different pressures moving around. Again, the jet stream in the U.S. plays a big part in storms either making land contact or not making land contact when it comes to hurricanes or tropical storms or even tropical depressions. But this is what we're looking at right now, and we could see it happening here by May 5th. They believe this thing could have tropical storm potential. And then as we move into the 7th and 8th, you could see another low system basically forms it comes at a shallower angle and passes over this one if I back it up here you can kind of follow it follow this circle here as I back up and you can see how this also comes from that warm water belt it comes from down in this area and it swoops up at a shallower angle than this one here near the Bahamas and then begins to form as it gets to the Northeast again not saying this is going to become a hurricane but those signs are there when you get these tight rings you're getting a lot of low pressure formation um, to put it in a non-confusing way. But there you have it right there. We have it on this chart here. If I move over to this chart, which is our GFS 700 millibar geopotential height. Okay, so this is also a chart we use to determine where these storms are going to go. You can see it does, it moves up north just past the Bahamas, then it dips back down underneath it. So this could potentially put Florida at some risk if this thing over the next two or three days decides to shift to the uh, west a little bit more towards the east coast of Florida past the Bahamas. So this is certainly something to keep an eye on. This could be our first tropical storm of the season, which would technically be in the month of May. Last year, um, our first storm was in April. That does not mean anything about the, um, the seriousness of this upcoming hurricane season. Um, everything could blow up in May. It could happen in June. We could not even see a hurricane until July, but then get 10 in a row like we did last year. So uh, just keeping all this in mind, um, while we have this significant weather system going on on the U.S. continent itself, um, there's a big tornado threat like we spoke about in the last video from Texas all the way up through uh, the areas near Michigan, this entire strip here, and that's going to continue moving west to east, uh, putting some rare areas like uh, even uh, West Virginia um, at risk for some tornadoes if they make it past Kentucky and Tennessee. That will be for another updated video later on this afternoon, but I really want to talk about this tropical wave that is happening at the same time as a sand let out, or however you want to put it, coming off the west coast of Africa into the Atlantic Ocean, which some scientists believe is a direct result of why we have so many hurricanes and aiding to how they form. There's molecules, like actual physical particles, within these storms that keep them cling together. So um, for those of you that want to look up more research on that, go right ahead. There's plenty of it. Uh, but here you have it, guys. Uh, tropical tidbit showing the possibility of our first tropical storm as early as Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. That could even possibly be sooner um, as in May 4th. Um, I don't see anything forming or being named before that, but uh, at least the Weather Channel will certainly be talking about this. Uh, your local weather more than likely will not be unless it's a direct threat to your area. But uh, keep an eye out on this, guys. I'll be reporting on it daily until it is no longer in existence. That's how we work here. And I hope you guys are having a great day. It is still Monday, and I'll be back in a little bit with another update. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.